I was born in Purcell, Oklahoma. I was raised on a farm. My grandfather was a quarter horse trainer, so we grew up riding horses and, and had uh, cows and chickens and a lot of hogs. Farm life didn't stop Lisa Johnson Billy from other things. She found a passion for art. I love to paint pictures of uh, my grandparents, of a lot of the elders from my tribe. I love to put their eyes on watercolor and on canvas. I think that was one of my favorite. I could just pass time for hours. She earned an art scholarship to Northeastern State University in Tahlequah. While in college, she worked at the boarding school for Native Americans. And truly from that experience, I saw the needs, um, a lot of depression, a lot of dysfunction they had come from. And so from that, I started with the help of a lot of friends and professors on the campus at NSU, I started an organization called Peacemakers Incorporated. Peacemakers became a nationwide organization that provides programs for Native youth. After earning her graduate degree from OU, she taught in the Department of Continuing Education. When she began raising a family, she stepped away from her career to be a full-time mother, but would soon become a trailblazer. In 1997, she was elected to the Chickasaw Legislature, serving with her father. And that was a lot of fun, um, serving on his committees and having him tell me what to do. And then, then I became a chairman, and he got to do what I told him to do. It was a lot of fun. After two terms, her mentor, former state senator Helen Cole, coaxed her into running for a state house seat. And when I would tell her, Helen, there's never been a woman elected from my house district. There's never been a Native American. I don't come from a family of wealth. I have no political connections. Um, my party has never been elected in my house district. How many strikes do I need to convince you I can't do this? In 2004, Lisa Johnson Billy made history, the first Chickasaw woman elected to represent House District 42. Leadership to me is someone like Helen Cole, it's someone who's willing to pioneer a path and hopefully making the, the path a little wider and moving forward. That is what leadership is about.